if you actually want the mansions, if you actually want the supercars, if you actually want to be able to fly on a private jet, if you want cute girls, if you want success and a, a business and a personal brand and you want all of these things, so does, so, so does everybody else. And so how are you going to stand apart and how are you going to prep your days to actually get there because the future is just a bunch of present moments. The future is just a bunch of todays. And a lot of people put stuff off till tomorrow. They put stuff off till next week, but it's the future is really just a bunch of now. So what can you do now to get the things that you want in, in the long term, in the, in the long run? So what seeds are you planting every single day that are going to harvest good fruit? The morning routine that I have implemented has completely changed my life. It's allowed me uh, not only to strip so many limiting beliefs, but it's it's allowed me to control my mind, control my day. It's gained me tons of confidence and it's allowed me to be a, a better leader. And it, I've, I've reached a lot of my goals and targets. I've gotten smarter. Um, the morning routine is the most important part of your day because it preps your morning. A lot of people, they'll wake up and they'll immediately get into work just like everybody else. They're like robots. They wake up and then they boom right into it. And then things happen to them all day long. And they are victims of the day rather than in control of the day. And it all starts right when you get out of bed. It starts right when you wake up because the first test is when you wake up and your bed is as comfortable as it's ever been. And resistance is like, no, 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 stay in bed, stay in bed. But then you have the other voice that's like, hey, bro, get out. I'm telling you that by getting out of bed and pushing through that resistance, the, the, the benefit and the gain is 100 times better than the pleasure of staying in that bed. Because if you stay in the bed, now you're going to be in a lower frequency because part of you knew that you should have gotten out of bed. And so you, you didn't follow through with what you knew you needed to do. And so now you better do something and extremely impactful to raise your energy again. And it, it all boils down to, are you doing the things that you tell yourself you're going to do? Because I could be in a Bugatti and, and have the fattest watch on ever. But if I miss on what I need to do, I'm in, I'm in the worst mood ever. I, I have anxiety. I'm in the slow frequency. I have like fear and doubt. And, and on the, on this other side of the spectrum, if I'm homeless and I crush a hundred burpees and I'm doing everything that I know I need to do, I'm going to be in an amazing mood. I'm going to be grateful. And so it, it really all boils down to the day-to-day -day actions. And so by developing this morning routine, you're going to prep your day and you're going to stand out from the pack and you're going to reach your goals a lot faster. So beating the sun up is the first step. It's, it's going to allow you to connect spiritually. Uh, early bird gets the worm and you're going to overcome resistance immediately. The next step is a cold shower. A after you beat the sun up, which just means wake up at 5, uh, 4.30, whatever time the sun comes up in your area, immediately I go for a cold shower. And this wakes me up. Whenever I was tired in bed, the cold shower wakes me up. And then after the cold shower, I immediately feel like a winner. I, my energy rose. Uh, and it, and, and I com I'm a completely awake after this cold shower. And then what I like to do is I like to go make my bed and just stack more wins, more wins, more wins. And after this cold shower, you're going to feel so confident. Then you want to have 30 ounces of water within the first 30 minutes of waking up. And if you have salt or electrolytes, throw them in there. You have to get hydrated. Um, I mix it with this relight hydration. It's fantastic. I like the lemon lime version. And then also I'm taking my supplements. So right now I'm taking zinc, creatine, vitamin C, vitamin D with K2, and then beef organs. And then sometimes, you know, if I have sinus issues, I'll take uh, the sinus support by Beekeepers Naturals, which is awesome. But I try and keep it minimum. Uh, I love the creatine. I've seen good benefits with it. And, um, you know, the other stuff is just to keep me healthy. So next after the, the cold shower, after the supplements and the hydration, now it's breath work and meditation. And this right here alone will completely change your life. If, if you don't even know what being in the present moment looks or feels like, this will completely change your world. For a long time in my life, I thought that my thoughts were me and I identified with my thoughts. By implementing these things into my world, I realized that I'm not my thoughts. 
And I don't have to give power to every single thought if I can distance myself. So through breath work, through meditation, you learn how to distance yourself from your thoughts rather than just being at the end of a conveyor belt and you just accepting every thought that comes through that as truth. Because here's here's the tr actual truth is that half of you, uh, where you're at right now has a survival bias and this version of you wants to live. And so it's going to be feeding you things to keep you exactly where you're at. And then your higher self is also going to be feeding you things. And if you're taking, you know, if you're identifying with every single thought, you're going to be constantly in this battle of like that, that, that. it's like a resistance battle of you trying to get to the next person, uh, the higher version of yourself. And so by identifying with your thoughts, you can be like, no, 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 that, that's just resistance. I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to read my book or no, no, no. I'm not going to stay in bed because that's what every single other person would do. And I'm 1%. I'm a one percenter. So I'm going to get out of bed immediately. And so it's, it's going to allow you to separate yourself from your thoughts. It's going to allow you to tap into intuition and you're going to gain control of your mind. The next thing is journaling. Um, I, I, a good buddy of mine told me this once and he's like, dude, when you're, when you're spelling thing, you're casting spells and Grant Cardone and Elena Cardone have talked about this as well. You know, they, they get into the actual meanings of words. So they, they, they talk about currency and current, how, money likes to move and then you have a river bank and a bank that kind of stops the flow of money and so words have a lot more meaning than what we think and so by actually spelling out what you want to have happen here's my journal structure i highly recommend that you implement this it's uh, most things that i've written down have came true in my life by but by spelling that out every morning you're actually casting spells into the universe of what you want to have happen and then it's cool because now you're building you know, you're, you're building a, uh, a Rolodex of these journals that now you can actually go through and you can see what you were thinking a year ago, two years ago. And it's also, you know, a great time to uh, reinforce your vision, reinforce your targets, and then finish it off with gratitude. And another key thing to add here is after I'm done with my journal prompt, I will do three power plays three to five power plays that I need to get done that day. And I focus on these. These are normally revenue generating activities. And another key aspect to this morning routine is reading because your, your dopamine levels are reset and you can apply what you took in the morning to your business, to your personal life throughout the entire day. And it gives you good thoughts. And I also think that, um, it, it allows me to be more still and uh, I'm not like just getting on my phone and scrolling. I'm like doing a hard task that I feel good about and I feel accomplished by doing. And if you, if you're like, Hey, I'm going to read at nighttime. Most of the times it doesn't happen because you've already ruined your dopamine levels and you can't focus and actually take in the information. And so reading in the morning is amazing. Um, it, it, you can just read 10 pages, five pages, one page, but just getting reading in, in the morning is fantastic. Then after all of this, you, you want to go get exercise. You want to move the blood throughout your full body. So on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Friday, Fridays, I'm ripping a full body workout. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I do hot yoga to kind of switch it up a little bit. And then on the weekends, I like to get out in nature, go for bike rides, go for runs, but you notice here, I'm not doing gym like seven days a week. I, I, I like to switch it up and tap into new energies and tap into a yoga studio and then tap into a bike ride and then switch up the gyms that I'm going to so I can tap into new energies and meet new people. And so by doing all of these things throughout the morning, this will take you anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half. But this is why waking up before the sun comes up is crucial. And um, I, I want you guys to implement this right away. Comment down below if this was helpful and we'll see you on the next one.